What's going on guys? I am John Ross, aka Watch Chairgo, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a mining rig right here with nothing but a motherboard box to set the motherboard on, GPUs, and the other hardware we need to complete the build. Alright, let's kick this off with the most fun part. You know what time it is. The unboxing. So, cool story about the unboxing. Actually, it's not really a cool story about the unboxing. But UPS drove by my house like over and over and over. It was like three or four times trying to, I don't know, deliver packages in the neighborhood that weren't these packages. And I was getting like really tired of it. I was, you know, sitting there watching them drive by thinking, what if they don't deliver these? And they are the extreme editions, I think. Awesome. Uh, so I bundled up. It is 36 degrees. Weather update brought to you by No Motorcycles, b &H Photo Video, I guess. And uh, jumped on the boosted board with like a hoodie and a coat and gloves and a beanie. And, and I chased down UPS and I picked up these giant boxes. Brought them back. These guys were like, can you carry that? I was like, this is a boosted board, son. It's a boosted board. Here's our motherboard for today. It is the ASUS Prime Z270A with AuraSync. AuraSync won't work for me because I am using all gigabyte GPUs. As you can see, they are the Aorus. But I think I ordered three. I ordered, uh, let's see, three more ASUS Turbo GTX 1080 Ti's and those are running in another rig. Some of them will make it into this rig, some of them won't. I ordered more EVGA Superclock 1080 Ti's today. You know, people are gonna get mad and say that miners are destroying the gaming market, but that's not true at all. What's really happening right now is uh, NVIDIA is done with the 1080 Ti's and they've moved on to their next line, which is the Volta pro uh, GPU architecture. Uh, you know it's already out in the Titan V. The Titan V is a monster, and I'm just not going to pay $3,000 a card for those. But uh, yeah, the 11 series, or the 20 series, whichever one they're going to name it, will be out very soon. Uh, end of the month is the word. So you're really just waiting on that. It's not our fault. I mean, I game on these too, so there you go. Uh, I do wish I would have bought a Gigabyte G uh, motherboard at this point so I could use AuraSync, but whatever. Not AuraSync, Aorus, but doesn't matter. I don't really care about the RGB, I just care about that sweet, sweet crypto money. Okay, I wasn't going to, but I had to. GPUs, motherboard, here is our CPU. It is the Pentium G4400, I think. G4400, which is a dual core, 3.3 gigahertz. Uh, here is our RAM. Let me just grab that for you. It's gonna be a single stick, eight gig, DDR4. We're trying to get a little bit of speed out of that since we have it. Uh, here's our hard drive in my pocket. And you're like, John Ross, it's not a hard drive. It's not a hard drive. It's a 128 gig USB 3 SanDisk uh, Ultra Fit flash drive. And it's bootable. It's got simple mining OS on it. I've already configured my email address for the miner. So honestly, we should be able to turn this bad boy on and uh, it'll start right up and connect to Simple Mining's uh, online dashboard and we're good to go at that point. So that's going to be our hard drive. It's not a hard drive, obviously. Here's our power supply. It's actually the uh, power supply from my other rig. They got an 850 today and my 1600s are on the way. So this is very, very temporary and it will only run two cards. I have miscellaneous other goodies, which are power switch uh, pigtails with LEDs. I've got a bunch of these. Uh, I ran out of my Arctic Clean. I keep it over here. This is my thermal compound drawers. We've got thermal compound, video card thermal compound, Arctic Clean. Now I've got more Arctic Clean because I was out. Uh, keyboard and mouse sitting here that will be used temporarily just to configure the BIOS. A ton of PCIe risers. Never have enough of those. And honestly, I think that's it for this build. So let's open some stuff up and get started. Let's open up our Prime 270A. And I'm just going to pop this out of its shipping package. See if there's anything in here that's important which is going to be uh, SATA cables, and we've got a uh, IO shield, uh, looks like an SLI bridge, that might be, it is not RGB, so yeah, nobody cares about that. Motherboard uh, power headers and all that fun stuff. So we will just leave all of this in the box, let me throw this in the box as well, some screws that are probably for the uh, heat sink. And from here on out we're going to build this computer in real time. The camera might cut a couple times because uh, it's an RX100 and they like to time out every five minutes. 
because they get too hot, the sensor gets too hot. We'll just uh, throw this bad boy on the motherboard box. You won't have any problems running it like that. We're going to start with the easiest thing first. I'm going to throw my flash drive in here. That is where it will reside from now on. There's its cover. Open up this processor. Here we go. I'll just leave the knife out because we're going to need it a few times. This isn't going to be like a record PC build. Our record's like 13 minutes, but uh, I don't see myself beating 13 minutes on this because I'm really just kind of screwing around. All right, so there's one quick cut because the camera died. I might have rotated the CPU cooler while it was off just because the first RAM slot is this one right here. These uh, only one side open, so you put one side in and the other side clicks in. Just look at the alignment notch right there, look at the alignment notch on the board, and that is where the card goes. So this end will go in first, and then we'll just give it a quick little push, and that should be good. All right, so there we go. We've got a CPU, we've got our air cooler, we've got our RAM in, our hard drive's done, since we're not using SATA or M.2 or anything crazy. Uh, let's throw some GPUs and some power at this, and it should be finished. Here is our ATX power supply. It's going, I've got power right here because this is my workbench. So we'll just kind of do something like that. Here's how the 24 pin hooks up to the power supply. Uh, you've got your main, you got your main Molex plug right there. Plug that one in, give it a little wiggle until it clicks. Give this one a little wiggle until it clicks. Then you've got your makeup power for the CPU, which is this cable. It should say CPU on it somewhere. That end goes to the motherboard. This end, it probably honestly doesn't matter, but on this power supply, it is labeled 6 plus 2 PCIe and 4 plus 4 CPU. So we will grab one of those right there. And this will be PCIe. And this power supply actually only has two PCIe power uh, connectors. So I'll go grab another one of these cables. It's in the box somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. But for now, let's hook it up. Here is motherboard power, we're hooking up to the 24 pin. Nice, satisfying click on that guy right there. Uh, here is the CPU makeup power. It will go right here. EATX 12 volts. And this will be the first video card and we will just start throwing video cards at it from there. All right, so I cut a zip tie that I had on here to, uh, I was running a 980 before, so I had all my two extra pins, uh, you know, zip tied off so it was pretty and looks good on my cards, but these cards need lots and lots of power, so here we go. I'm very excited about it. Push them in until you get a, all the way to the bottom, add power. Go from there. So here is our eight pin connector. Got to do a little finagling to make all of that work. This is the best reason to stay organized. I ran to my closet, found the Corsair box, found the Corsair uh, bag inside the box. We'll find one of these that says PCIe. It is this one. Open it up and plug in the last card, and we are ready to power the rig on. Are you guys as excited as I am? I'm ready to do a little bit of mining. All right, get our PCIe connectors put together like that. Plug this bad boy in. A little tricky to wiggle it into that tiny slot under there. That's what she said. And here goes our secondary power connector, PCIe power connector. There we go, the graphics card's hooked up. Here goes the power to the graphics card. It slides in right down here on the power supply under 6 plus 2 PCIe. And that's it, the moment of truth. Here's our uh, 120 volt power. Uh, which will be switched to 220 soon with all the titanium power supplies that are showing up. Ooh, look at that RGB. Who's getting excited now? Power switch. No smoke came out yet. Smoke, smoke. Couple minutes, you gotta do a smoke check here. The Aura stuff's looking pretty cool. Fans are spinning up. Oh, we got a nice big glowing RGBX. 
I'm kind of excited for all the RGB, even though I'm not a big RGB guy. All my other cases are black, insulated, full of good hardware, and nobody needs to see it or hear it, but this is different. It's going to sit out in the open. So real quick, we're going to go ahead and hit it with some uh, test bench good stuff. Uh, plug in this monitor and hopefully I can do a little BIOS configuration. Some of the config you have to do for your simple mining OS is uh, first get your mouse out, make sure there's batteries in it. That's not part of the SNOS config, but I'm pretty sure the batteries are dead, so I'm going to go get some batteries. And uh, then disable the audio, making sure the PCIe modes are correct, Gen 4 or Auto. And uh, I'll just kind of skip through the rest of the BIOS, make sure everything looks cool. But that said, we have no video, so let's figure it out. Hey, this board does have onboard video. Oh yeah, because it has onboard video and SMOS ignores the... Ooh, I've never had onboard video in my life. I also have an ethernet cable hanging out by the bench, which is of course for SMOS is uh, internet access and all that great stuff. So plug that in and uh, I'm gonna go grab some batteries. We'll go from there. All right, so I moved the video to the onboard video. I don't think I've ever had a board with onboard video in my life because I usually buy enthusiast boards. And uh, SMOS says, please connect your monitor to your onboard video card. That is done now. I just kind of stumbled upon that. Here are batteries for my keyboard. And we'll throw some batteries in this mouse. And let's rock and roll. Mouse is good. Power button. The blue LED and those old Microsoft mice. All right, we're back to the RGB goodness. Please show me a BIOS or something. CPU fan speed error. Ah, <laughs> I now know the issue. I plugged the CPU fan into the wrong header. So we'll power this off one more time. So the CPU fan on the Asus Prime Z270 board is the top one, the white one there. The gray one is CPU fan optional, which is probably for your water pump or whatever you want. And SMOS minor. No screen to be attached to miners, and that looks like it's done. Honestly, I think I didn't see all of the uh, scroll by there. And it looks like it's downloading some updates from the internet, connected to Simple Mining OS. All right, so it looks like SMOS has finished its updates, and now it just keeps scrolling. There is no screen to be attached to matching miner. But there are no screens attached to these 1080 Ti's. I don't know why it's whining about that. You can do whatever you want, okay? It's not going to affect me. Uh, soon I'll unplug the DVI cable and we'll just manage it all remotely. That said, the computer build is basically done. Uh, it's as done as it's going to get done on this power supply, which really can't do anything. But what'd that take? 15 minutes, something like that? Maybe 20 minutes max. I tried to do it uncut for you guys so I could show you everything. If I missed anything, please feel free to ask me questions in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, when this is done, very soon, I'm going to run to Lowe's or out to the garage, grab some plywood, build myself a rack about this big, make it hold 13 GPUs or something like that, and uh, start plugging in these risers. Risers are a whole other ball game, and I can't wait to show you how to do that. You have to power every riser. Risers plug into a 1x PCIe slot and give you a 16x PCIe slot. Not actually a 16x PCIe slot, only the 1x is connected, but you do need the PCIe connector so you don't have to cut your cards. So back in the day we did whatever had to be done, even if it meant ruining the card for future video card usage. PCIe risers are a godsend. Thank you to whoever engineered those. It's pretty simple, I know, but still. It's a whole different ballgame when you set them up. I can't wait to show you guys that. So I will walk you through SMOS soon. I think this rig's ready to go now. Uh, I'm gonna go try to manage it with SMOS, see what happens. Links to all the hardware I'm using right here will be in the description below. Feel free to hit those, check out the parts I'm using. Setting up a PC is fun no matter what you're doing, even with uh, like basic-ish motherboard hardware and epic GPUs. That's even more fun because you just keep stacking GPUs in and then laughing at the rig when it's done. I'll be bringing you guys a whole series of videos on mining, mining with data center hardware. We've got data center hardware coming and mining on everything else that you could possibly mine with, operating systems, cryptocurrencies. Uh, I'll just make a new playlist for all this good stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you guys later.